Corinne, first of all, let me ask you why you support this imagery displayed on the Confederate flag. Can you explain that? Yes, ma'am. Well, I have an ancestor that was a cook for a South Carolina regiment. His name was Benjamin Thomas, and he's from North Augusta, South Carolina. And I refuse to turn my back to what he did for the South. And after the South lost the Civil War, South Carolina gave its black troops pensions, which was the right thing to do. And so, you know, I'm proud of my state for giving black troops money after, for fighting for the South. And I'm just proud of my ancestor for, you know, fighting for the South. And I'm not going to turn my back towards that. But the Confederate Army fought for, among other things, the right to keep slave labor. Uh, and many African Americans suffered, and it is, as even President Obama says, ingrained in the DNA of the country, this, this painful legacy. You don't see the flag as a visual representation of that painful past? Um, well, I do understand um, people's right to hate the flag and feel oppressed by it, but me personally, I do not feel offended by the flag because I refuse to allow a symbol or word have power over me to make me feel offended. So mm -hmm. I'm just one in a minority that chooses to see the flag for different reasons. But I do understand why people hate the Confederate flag. I do. What reaction do you get, Byron, from, from, other, uh, from your friends, from other African Americans, from other friends you have? when they see that flag in your, in your apartment? Well, um, they, they know how I feel about it and they know I'm not racist, but I also know how they feel. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to hide how I feel about a symbol that I don't feel is racist towards me. Now, I'm not going to push my beliefs on them. They can continue mm -hmm. to not like my flag but at the end of the day, they know my heart and they know that I love everyone. Even though one I do carry one. a symbol that makes I them feel it. uncomfortable. One last one, Byron. Given what happened in Charleston, that hasn't changed your perspective on it because the killer was seen posing with the flag, et cetera. That hasn't changed your opinion. Um, well, I refuse to allow his evilness to make me feel a different way about my flag because Dylan decided to use his Confederate flag for racism. My Confederate flag that I own, I do not use for racism. I don't. So he's an American. He's entitled to his beliefs and how he uses a symbol. And I am entitled to my beliefs and how I choose to use a symbol. So I refuse right. to allow his evilness to trump how I see my symbol.